Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new. If you're not new, um, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your time and attention. Um, so, uh, as many of you might know, I'm very inspired uh, by Jessica Sowards with Roots and Rush Beach Farm. Um, and so this video today is, is kind of inspired by Jessica Sowards and her latest video, which, um, now I forget, <laughs> I forget the, the urgency to grow food and something about hope. Anyway, I can't remember the title, um, but I am, I am very inspired by her latest, latest video. So this one is a tribute to Jessica Sowards, sort of, and, um, I am going to tell you my story. So if you're interested, keep watching. Now that now that we've got um, the introductions out of the way, what what I wanted to, to talk to you about today, and if you if you read my blog, you kind of know a little bit about what I'm going to talk about today. Um, what what I wanted to talk about was um, how how I got here, where I am right now, and. Um, how guard, how how the garden has really has really changed my life and my perspective. Um, so I, to start the story, obviously we have to go back in time. Um, so in 2009, I was really very physically and mentally unhealthy. Um, I was in a in a failing marriage. Um, I was unhappy. Um, my physical, my physical body was was very sick, and um, and so oh, one day I just, you know, and I was going through um, a, a really a, a, a kind of spiritual awakening that really, if I if I look back, it really started in 2009, and um, when I started my spiritual awakening. Um, some things about myself came to light that I really, I really didn't like. Um, I, and, and I got, to be honest, I got a, a little bit, well, a lot suicidal. And the, really the only thing that that saved me back then was, was um, the, the love and affection from my, my family. Um, so when I recovered a little bit from from that insight, um, I, I, I kind of made a vow to get healthy. So I started exercising um, with some video I found in in the Dollar Tree, or maybe it was it was the Walmart free dollar bin. I don't remember exactly where I got it, but it was a video, and I started doing the video, and I quit smoking. And, and that was the biggest favor I ever did myself was to quit smoking because the, the, the cigarettes were just absolutely killing me more than anything else. Um, um, but at the time when I started to get healthy and I started exercising, I was I was doing a lot of research about food and a healthier diet, and it was really startling to me um, what kind of stuff was put in our processed foods um, so that, that started me on the journey and and then um, so as I progressed along I kind of left I left the marriage and when, when I was single and I went and rented an apartment and I started buying organic foods because it was just me I had to feed Hard and the neighbors' dogs are like going crazy, um, so hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, 
but I was just, um, and I was doing good for a long time, and I thought, oh, I'm, I'm done with my spiritual passage, I'm, I'm mentally healthy, etc., etc., and then, um, I had a relationship with somebody who was just, turned out to be just as screwed up as the guy I just left, and so that's, sent me on a nosedive and I gained all the weight back and you know I stopped all those healthy habits and so as more time progressed my job situation started being really 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 toxic um, and when I went to my management there is a blog there is a video blog about all of this in, in my videos um, so if you really want more information about why I quit, you can go listen to that vlog. Um, it, 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 needless to say, I quit that job and I went to work. Well, I traveled around a little bit and I went through a very powerful experience um, where I had gone home to my hometown and things were just so desperately bad then um, that I went to my hometown with the intention of not coming back alive really and I, I had a spiritual experience there and I, I came back from that experience knowing my own value and my own worth and came to terms with a lot of things and it really that trip saved my life um, so when I got back it was time for me to go back to work and instead of going back into an office job that I thought I would hate um, and because my dad was so sick I got a job locally as a barista in a grocery store um, coffee kiosk and I've been there ever since um, now when you go from making $21 an hour to 10 um, that's a drastic change um, the struggle to make ends meet because I wasn't getting a whole lot of hours it was very part-time then um, that's how my first garden came to be I was just so desperate uh, for fresh food that I could no longer afford that I'm like well I'm just gonna grow my own um, so that first garden was just a disaster. It was absolute disaster. I, I got very little food out of it, um, but I didn't give up because um, it was really, by this time I figured out I really love to grow things. I really love to grow things. Um, these plants are my babies. Um, even though I'm gonna eat some of them and some of them only last for the season, they're my babies. I love them. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. Anyway, I so I I learned that I loved I loved to grow things, and so that second year garden was more about a love of growing things than it was the desperation that I felt. And and, and of course now I'm, I'm kind of the assistant manager, and so. I'm, I'm making better money, I'm doing better, I'm getting better hours, but um, I, di I didn't realize that my my focus on, on the job and um, trying to get prepared because my mother's health is really bad and I, I didn't realize until today how much of a spirit of lack all of that was creating. In, in my life and it was just like feeding um, some very negative energy and so now I today I can come to you in a very more rooted and grounded place to borrow phrases from Jessica Howard I'm just I'm I'm growing this garden in a spirit of, a, of abundance it, it feeds my soul more than it feeds my body. There's, there's such a peace in the garden. There's such a peace down at the community garden where I rented my beds that it's, 
it's just, it, I, I, I can't tell you how, how much it instills peace in my soul. Um, so I, I found something that I truly love. I have always been a little bit passionate about food. I've, I've learned that the food that I grow at home, because last year we grew uh, an abundance of green beans and cherry tomatoes, and we ate them till we were sick of them, but they were just so amazing. And that little bit of success fueled everything I'm trying to do this year with the garden and to grow more food in a small space and take care of my family a little bit better. And that is, it, it, here there is, there's not enough space really, I don't think, to grow enough food to feed my family for an entire year. This will supplement what we buy in the store. But at the same time, the knowledge that I gain right here in this spot kind of is like an insurance policy that going forward, no matter what happens, I know how to grow my own food. So, it, you know, and, and, and that is a, is a very powerful thing. Self-reliance is a very powerful thing. Um, you know, in the... You know, if I had to, I could turn the whole garden, the whole yard into a garden. Um, protecting it from the deer would be very, very difficult, but I could do it. And I could grow our food right here in this little bitty, you know, less than a half acre. It's, it's a tiny postage stamp yard, but I could do it if I had to. And, and that is... That, that's extremely important. It gives me self-confidence. It, it gives me hope for the future. Um, it, 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 just, it just, it gives me assurance that everything is gonna be okay. And that no matter what comes in the outside world, um, I, I will be able to not only survive, but to thrive. And when you when you start something out of a spirit of fear, uh, that's that's survival mode. What I'm doing right now, today, and all of my efforts I'm making today is about taking myself out of survival mode and being able to thrive and to be able to foster that spirit of abundance rather than a spirit of lack. And and even though, you know, I don't. I don't share Jessica Sauer's Christian faith. Um, I do. I, I do have a deep sense of spirituality that comes from gardening, and you know that law of attraction thrives on gratitude and abundant mindset. So it's important, no matter what your no matter what your faith is not to focus on what you lack, but to focus on positive, focus on abundance, what helps you bring abundance into your life. And for me, it's this garden. It's a combination of fruits and vegetables and, and flowers and beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. And I love to make things that are beautiful. And these plants, they're just as beautiful as some of the jewelry that I make. So it makes me very happy. And so now you know about my journey to get to my garden. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I invite you to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I will make content as, as I have time available. Hopefully soon it'll be more time. Um, to focus on what I truly love and instead of working so much. Um, but again, I thank you for your time and attention and have a wonderful rest of your day.